Hello, this is Professor Kitch, and this webcast is designed to get you started on doing library research at Cal Poly Pomona. The first step to this research is for you to get to know your engineering librarian and set up your accounts. So to get started, uh, go to the Cal Poly Pomona homepage, take a quick look at the cute kids at the Pumpkin Festival, or visit the page on the Insect Fair and see the creepy crawlies, and after you're done with all that fun, Go to the search box and type in library, civil engineering, and hit return. There will be a number of hits on this, on this page. If you look down here to the third box down where it says home civil engineering for graduate students, that's the one we're headed for. And you click on that home page and it'll take you to a page that your engineering librarian, Ann Morgan, has prepared. Uh, Ann Morgan is a very valuable and resourceful person at the, the library and I encourage you to contact her. Her contact information is here on the page. She is in the early retirement program right now and only working half time. But she's generally available when you need her, send her an email and she'll get back to you quickly. The first thing you got to do is set up your accounts, and Anne has done a really nice job of uh, showing you how to do that. If you look right here under library pin and password uh, for off-campus access, that's the first thing you're going to have to do is set up your library account. So you click on that, and it'll take you to this page. If you already have a library account, go ahead and enter your name, enter your university ID card. Be sure that you enter your Bronco number with the leading zeros. You have to put in the leading zeros or it won't work and then enter your library pin. If you forgot your pin, click on the forgot your pin tab and you'll enter your name up here and your university ID number again with the leading zeros and submit it and it'll tell you how to reset your account. If you don't have a library account number, enter your name. This is not your Bronco name, it's like your real name. Enter your university ID again with the leading zeros And then make up your own PIN or your own password. And if you click Submit after that, it'll ask you to repeat your password. If you want to, you click down here for how to create your library video. and It'll take you to a really nice YouTube video that goes through exactly how to create your account. Once you've created your university account, if you come back to Ann Morgan's graduate student page and you come down to the next section, it talks about document delivery. Document delivery is a way that we can get articles that we don't have on campus and you're going to need to do that. So that's another account you need to set up. And to do that, just click here on the document delivery link that she has there. If you've already got a document delivery account or you think you do, go ahead and try and log in. This password is not necessarily the same as your university password. If you're a first time user, then you can click on this link right here and it'll take you down this page. It explains some things about document delivery. And at the bottom, there is a first time users click here. And this is your registration page for document delivery. Go ahead and set it all up. You get to put in a username and a password. This is a totally different account from your other accounts. So be sure to write down this account and password or store it someplace because it'll be different than your regular library account. And once you've done that, you should be all set up for document delivery. If you did have a document delivery account, but you can't remember the password, if you go here to forgot your password, enter your username, and it'll give you a chance to reset your password. If all else fails, contact the great folks at Document Delivery at this number, and they'll help you out. So, once you've finished setting up your library account and your document delivery account, you are ready to start doing university research at the Cal Poly Pomona Library.